Let's, uh, let's, let's do an overview of bioethics. Okay, this is a subfield of ethics that's concerned with medical, ethical issues and advances in biological science. All right, we're going to actually add a few other things in this topic. Uh, I, I lump some other things in here uh, with bioethics that we'll talk about it later. But this is just uh, that subfield that specifically concerned with the medical sciences and biological uh, stuff. Alright? Okay. Alright. Uh, one of the things, this is, this is one of the things that I kind of go on the side with that I mentioned. Okay, issues between healthcare professionals and patients. Alright? One of the things is informed consent. Uh, traditional roles of physicians making most of the treatment decisions has changed to give patients more of a shared decision making now. All right, you have choice. My wife had a choice when she went in for her cancer treatment. She had options. First, they weren't going to do chemo after the, after she had surgery. They weren't going to do chemo. Then she went and saw the radiation guy, and he says you need to do chemo. And so she, you know, his question was, is there some reason you don't want to do chemo? So she, I mean, she had the choice to say, no, no chemo for me, thanks. Uh, but we realized that that would have been an unwise decision due to the uh, 10, 15 percent better chance of her not having it re recur. So she opted to take chemo. By the way, it is not a pleasant experience for most folks, as I see and have seen firsthand now. Um, but um, you have choices. And, and it used to be the doctors pretty much came in and gave diagnosis. They kind of said, this is what we're going to do, and that's what we're going to do. And now it's a lot more shared. They come and say, well, here's the options. Here's the buffet table. Here's what we can do. You can go down this road. You can go down that road. Now, if you go down this road, there's the house has to go. You know, so you, you have some decisions, but then there's within those decisions, you're going to have a little more limit on your decision making because it just has to be that you, you know, do these things if you go down and do this. Um, but uh, you have those options now in, in your healthcare, okay? Um, but uh, that's something that has changed over time, all right? And uh, another issue within this field uh, is the patient healthcare professional relationships, like confidentiality, okay? Professional. Uh, you know, there's other issues as far as relationships with, you know, uh, HIPAA. what's that? HIPAA. Yeah, HIPAA laws. Yeah, you've got that where you're not allowed to give certain information to people unless they have signed off that you can do so. Very strict laws about that. You can't just call the hospital and get information about somebody. It's not allowed. You can't do that. Um, the... Uh, other issue is, uh, you know, relationship between the care provider and the uh, person that they're caring for, for example. Uh, this really applies to your, your mental health. I don't know what just happened. Other than a professional 